and girls. And Ruby Forsythe has been a teacher for 64 years. Come on. Come on, girls. Most of that time, she has lived atop this old school. She opens her door each morning at 7.15 and is on her feet until the last child leaves 12 hours later. Pete had a half dollar. Ruby Forsythe is 81 years old. 14 and 12, and I'd get what? She has some old-fashioned notions. I hear somebody behind me. Electronic calculators are not allowed in her classroom. Michael. She trains children to use their own minds first. Don't use the word I can't. The word is try. Open your English books. Such diligence pays off. We can go. These five-year-olds have been reading for a year. Cookies, cookies, cookies. Mrs. Forsythe stresses honor above all else. Thou shalt not steal. Those who do, she says, become dependent and are no longer free. She teaches 53 children, five grades. They call her Miss Ruby. She is so effective, parents beg her not to retire. As long as she got health and strength, I know she'll keep going. They keep her place repaired and clean. Miss Ruby's husband was the local minister. He met and married her in Charleston, then brought her to this wilderness school, which at one time was also his church. She hated the island. There's nothing but woods. No, oh, baby, I cried. I cried for one solid month. Many times I said to my husband, I said, now listen, let's pick up and go. And he would always say, wherever you go, you're going to find problems. So what's the use of running? Ms. Ruby wanted to leave Pauly's Island when her husband died. She thought deeply about it, then decided to stay. People needed me. I saw the need for this community. So now, at 81, she has lived above this one-room school more than half her life. It is not just a schoolhouse. It is home. Bob Dotson, NBC News, Pauley's Island, South Carolina. <laughs>